Radio. My New Club will also host stars of contemporary music starting with the Bill Frizzell Trio for the Melbourne International Jazz Festival, as well as local stars. So drop in for some great music and a drink at the Jazz Lab. Leslie. I have been with Moreland Family Daycare as an educator for over 36 years I think. Family Daycare is a wonderful organisation. We look after children in our own home, they blend in with the family and it's fantastic. I love Family Daycare. I can choose my own hours, very flexible. I've made wonderful friendships with lots of the families. I'm now looking after children of the children I used to care for. The children just growing and developing is a wonderful, wonderful experience for me every day. I'd recommend family daycare to anybody and everybody. Me. Oh, oh. oh, where's my scouty snuggle? Where's my scouty snuggle? Can I have a scouty snuggle? Mm. How's your tea party going? My name's Hilary, I've been with Moreland Family Daycare for eight months now and I absolutely love it. The main reason I started with Family Daycare was to be with my little one. Family Daycare is a small environment so mostly I only have four children and it's in a home. Moreland have been really supportive with the whole thing and they helped me find children when I first started. There's so many benefits of working family daycare and becoming an educator. Working in your own home, flexible hours, also just watching the other children grow and being such a part of their life. I recommend to educators that want a good life balance if they have their own child. Family daycare is a great avenue to go down. Hey Moreland, today I'm down in St Kilda for the Midsummer Pride March supporting the LGBTQ community. It's a beautiful day, I'm proud to be here representing Moreland, walking behind so many wonderful dedicated people. This march goes towards exactly what our values are. At Moreland, we're one community proudly diverse. More Pride! More Pride! More Pride! More Pride! More Pride! More pride. More pride. More pride. having lots of fun. I like playgrounds too. Even ones with very big slides. I like the monkey bars and I like the Nazi crosses. I like the monkey I bars. I like the clocks. We are having lots of fun at this playground. Bye. Bye. I'm Haikal Raji from A1 Bakery. We've been in Brunswick since 1992. We specialise in Lebanese bread and pastries. We've also introduced a, a range of Lebanese dishes to our menu. And we've also got a wide range of Lebanese groceries. We like Brunswick because it's very multicultural. Me and my siblings have been here a majority of our lives. This is our second home and we like to treat our customers as our own family. We're very proud in what we do. 
Good evening, councillors, members of the gallery, and to our viewers live streaming tonight's meeting. My name is Councillor John Kavanagh, and I'm the Mayor of the Moreland City Council. It's my pleasure to welcome you to tonight's special council meeting to hear submissions on the proposed 2018-19 budget, annual budget and proposed strategic plan of 2018 to 2024. Our meeting is being held in the traditional country of the Wurundjeri people, and I wish to acknowledge them as traditional owners. I'd also like to pay my respects to elders, past and present, and elders from other communities that may be here tonight. I acknowledge that currently many Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people have made Moreland home and in doing so have contributed to the rich, positive diversity of this municipality. Members of the gallery, please note that this council meeting is being recorded and is web streamed live to council's website and Facebook. The recording will also be made available as video on demand. Gallery attendees are advised that they will be recorded during the meeting. Councillors, just to remind that in line with the adopted councillor conduct principles and as outlined in the councillor code of conduct councillors will ensure that they conduct themselves in this meeting with integrity impartially ex exercising their responsibility in the interests of the local community and not improperly seek to confer or advantage any person this behavior will support the principles for leadership and good governance that secures public confidence in the office of councillor members of the gallery in the event of an emergency or disruption um, we may be required to take action. Please follow directions from council staff. Thank you for your understanding. I'd like to uh, introduce the councillors who are in attendance tonight. Uh, from my right, your left, Councillor um, Sue Bolton, Councillor Anna Olivia Carly Hannon, mm -hmm. Councillor Jess Dorney, the Deputy Mayor, Councillor Natalie Abu, uh, Councillor, Councillor Dale Martin, and Councillor Mark Riley. Yeah. Uh, officers in attendance, we have the Chief Executive Officer, Narina De Lorenzo, and from my right, we have Grant Thorne, the Director of City Infrastructure. We have Arden Josephs, the Director of Social Development. On this side, we have Liz Rowland, who's the Acting Director of Corporate Services. And then we have the uh, Manager of Governance, uh, Sally Curran. Apologies, councillors. So far, I've only received one apology from Councillor Oscar Yield Dears. Uh, would someone like to move that? And if you've received any other Oscar Yield Dears, just the, just the apology of Oscar Yield Dears, Councillor. Yeah, I haven't received any other. Um, and seconded by Councillor Natalie Abu. Any discussion on that? I'll put the vote. And all those in favour, again, to declare that carried. Uh, Councillors, are there any interests or conflicts of interest to declare tonight? Um, yes, I need to declare a conflict of interest with item number 25 um, by my association. Okay, and that's the, sub the submitting regarding uh, funding moving costs for Northern Community Legal Centre? Yes, my cousin works for that legal Okay, good. All right, so if the submitter does come tonight, then we'll ask you to leave at that point. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. All right. Uh, before I invite people to speak to their submission on the proposed council plan or budget, I'd like to note some important points. The purpose of tonight's meeting is to hear from people in support of their written submission. Councillors have received a copy of all submissions, so this is an opportunity to expand. If, uh, if, as we have a number of people here tonight, each speaker will be asked to uh, comment for up to three minutes. I'll let you know we're getting close to time. I'd like to remind submitters and councillors, uh, if we need to, we can ask questions to clarify what people are saying, but tonight is an opportunity not to debate the issues or to get into a discussion. I also note that there will not be decisions made at the tonight's meeting. This is an opportunity for us to hear from you and we'll consider what we hear tonight, along with the written submissions, before we consider adopting the final council plan and budget. Councillors, so I can hear from the members of the community in support of the submissions, do I have a mover to suspend standing orders? Moved by Councillor Raleigh, seconded by Councillor Boone. Can I put that to the vote? All those in favour? Again, to declare that carried. Now, I have some that, uh, that have indicated, some submitters have indicated that they would like to speak tonight. I'll begin with those submitters, but then at the end of that, any other people who have made a sub written submission, I'll call on those to put a submission as well. All right, so the first one I have is in regarding enhancement of gender uh, uh, equity, and that's for Mari Rowan. Would anyone, would Mari be here? I'll come back later and see if she's arrived in that um, time. I have heard that Mari's not well and she won't be coming. Okay, all right, thank we'll you. have a written submission, so thank you for that. Uh, support for Mary Creek Bridge, we have Juliet Hall. All right, Juliet, nice to see you again. 
Good evening, Mr Mayor. Good evening, Good councillors. Evening. Um, the Murray Creek Bridge Group are very grateful for you putting the funding into the Bridge Reserve Fund. We're very much looking forward to the prospect of having a bridge to keep our kids safe and to improve cycling access across Darabin and Moreland. Um, our question is, uh, given that the finance, finances are confirmed at this point, is there any reason why um, the uh, funds for the bridge can't be a line item in the budget. Okay, I'll take that as a, um, um, you know, uh, what, your, what your group would be looking for yep. in that. I understand that's what your aspiration is. So we'll take that at that at this point. Rather Fantastic. than a question, is that okay? Thank you. Um, I, yes. I don't know, is, is it possible to ask a different question or is it? You can, you can ask a related, question, but in, in such it's more of a submission <laughs> tonight, but we'll at least uh, get sure. an, an idea what you're after. just wondering, um, in terms of planning applications, if Moreland is um, underway in terms of submitting their planning. Do you think we could answer that? Would you know the answer to that question at the moment? Uh, through the Mayor, the, there's a report coming to the due council meeting about uh -huh. the uh, progress in the bridge. Fantastic. All right, thank you. That's good. Thank you very much indeed. No, thanks very much, Julia. Um, regarding safer footpaths, we have Sylvie Lieber. Sylvie Lieber. Huh? Uh, improvement to Rainer Reserve Playground, including new fencing around the playground. Stephanie Mitten. Thank you, Mayor and Councillors, for this opportunity to participate in the budget process. It's very much appreciated. Um, I've lived in Watt Avenue now for 10 years and Moreland for 40. Um, I'm lucky I live in a beautiful pocket of Oak Park and we have the Rainer Reserve on the end of our street for sports and rec. Um, there's been a significant increase in housing development um, in and around Watt Avenue over the last decade, I've noticed. Um, no news to you, but dwellings are being built with little or no green space, which is just a huge issue for the population. It's put pressure on our small playground. Um, it's now the only outdoor play space for many residents they can easily walk to with their families. Considering the volume of residents now using this playground, I believe, as do the locals I've had chats with, it's in desperate need of um, uh, new equipment, which is dated and wearing. There's no shade currently. Um, that doesn't have secure, adequate fencing. Um, small children can easily now run onto the busy Watt Avenue. Days gone by, it was quite a quiet street, but now these days that's fairly dangerous. There's currently no wheelchair or pram access to the play space, nowhere for, uh, to park bikes, um, no diversity of play equipment for younger age children, and limited seating with one bench. Um, I've had a bit of support from the locals. Tamara um, says the park is busy, in need of um, fencing at the very least. Tet has three children. She visits the playground regularly and is quoted as saying the current equipment is fairly basic. The kids would benefit from a wider range of play equipment. Uh, Mavis would like to be able to um, take her husband in his wheelchair down to the park to watch sports. At the moment, there's no sheltered area and she can't get the wheelchair up. Um, so I've provided a concept plan and budgeted um, this at $216,000. Um, I believe that that plan does address all the issues I've raised. And I understand you have a lot of playgrounds to deal with in Moreland. So I can only vouch for my little corner of the world and um, yeah, hope for the best. Thank you very much. Thank you for the way you put that, Stephanie. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, improvements to Allard Park. I've got two that want to speak. John Armstrong, first of all. <coughs> Would John be here? We have Trevor Ackland and all. Okay. Uh, supportive of Faulkner Festa. Uh, Brendan Ak Akpasa. Uh, funding moving costs for the Northern Community Legal Service. Jenny Smith or someone else. Okay. Now, they're the ones that I've had down, but I see others in the audience who I know have made submissions. So uh, anyone that's made a submission that would like to speak, uh, you're welcome to do so now. Um, if you're from uh, Glenroy Sports Club, aren't you, Glenn? All right, so Glenroy Sports Club. Thanks, Mayor and Councillors. Uh, our submission is on um, page 51 within the yep. booklet here, and there's plenty of facts and figures and statistics in there which are for your perusal, but we're not here for that at the moment. Thanks, um, thanks for your time. Terrific work you put into our um, community. Thanks for considering our uh, lighting proposal for the Sewell Reserve Precinct. This project is one of the last pieces of a big jigsaw that started about 15 years ago with the redevelopment of our sports club amenities. And thanks for that at the time. Come along beautifully. With the expansion of our club into women's cricket, football, 
and now our new netball club, it's imperative that our oval has every chance to be used during both day and evening. The expansion of our club has seen the oval, oval's usage stretched to its maximum capacity and its ability to handle these high usage periods really takes its toll on the ground itself. Uh, with the joint venture uh, partnership project of lighting, the facility and amenities can expand its community engagement to cater for these huge, sorry, high usage periods, not only for our sports club, but for the sake of our greater community. With the emergency evacuation notice board that was fully funded by the sports club uh, in 2017 for $85,000, this project will activate as a benchmark for all local clubs and sur surrounding councils. Uh, the trust and support that council has given us in the past has been true, and our working relationship with council has always been a professional and honest nature. We look forward to contributing $70,000 into this project and trust that uh, you will vote in favour for the sake of our greater community. Thank you for your time. Thank you very much, Graham. Thank you for the presentation. <coughs> thank you. Good, thank you very much indeed. Now, there, are there any other submitters, people who put in a written submission that would like to speak to their submission? Right, just a final call for any of the other... Yes, sir? Yes, I'm sorry, sir. Come forward. <clears throat> yeah, you put in a submission, did you, sir? Yes, yes a petition. A petition, right, OK, yeah. to the budget. And uh, and the nature of the petition was? It's about a public um, lighting at the lighting. back of my mum's townhouse. Oh, right. No, that's right. Uh, I do, uh, were you the gentleman that came for a... Um, at a council meeting, a couple of council meetings ago. Yes. Yeah. Um, um, that well, yes. the the petition um, that I submitted, yeah. uh, I think it's directed to Lambros, but I've been told um, he, it's be um, directed to you. Right. Okay. Look, I, I understand that um, tonight is only for submissions, that, formal submissions in the budget, so I won't be able to hear to you tonight. But I am. You are very welcome. Okay, to come can to I the ask on? Will, will there be a time frame? Um, um, you know when um, there will be yeah, any okay. progress for that right. petition. If, if, if you can leave your details here, I'll make sure that somebody contacts you tomorrow uh, about that. I can promise you that. That would be very nice. All right. Thanks, so John. If you leave your details, but I appreciate that, sir. Now, Jenny has. Yep. Right. Uh, Jenny, you're welcome to speak now if you like. We're just a, and. Uh, uh, Thank you, Mayor. Um, I'm not sure if councillors have seen the written submission. Yes, we have. Yeah, we okay. we do have a copy of everyone's submission. Okay, and the um, attached budget. Yes. Um, I guess all I can say is this may be slightly um, unprecedented in terms of a community organisation that has funding by Commonwealth and state uh, governments. Um, I think we're in an unprecedented position hmm. in terms of, um, frankly, this northwest in the community legal uh, needs area has been uh, quite underfunded. Uh, that will change. There is some um, planning afoot, uh, but that won't take place. For the, the fruits of that won't... Um, roll out, if you like, for another two to four years. So um, we are in the, the I guess, critical uh, condition of needing to um, be more accessible than we have been. We have been looking to uh, relocate to somewhere um, that people can actually get to. We are currently Gladstone Park Shopping Centre, um, which, frankly, no one knows how to get there. It <laughs> has very limited public transport. Um, so this relocation we have been searching for for probably four years um, prior to my time. I think um, uh, the predecessor service, Broadmeadows Community Legal Centre, was looking for a, a better location. Um, it's taken that long. Rents in, ironically, in Broadmeadows are probably higher than they are in Brunswick. Um, yeah. But that location is necessary 
for us to service our catchments, and our catchments are extend to uh, Somerton, Wallen, past Wallen Seymour, uh, Sunbury, uh, Brunswick Road, um, and we do a whole range of outreaches to ensure that we're getting into the community, um, which I think we do really well. So um, I'm not sure if anybody has any questions. Uh, yes, I will take a question. Councillor Bolton. I was just wondering, Jenny, if you could um, explain to councils a little bit about um, your outreach services within the Moreland sort of area, Certainly. just to give a bit, because I said I think um, a lot of people assume that when um, the Moreland, well, the amalgamation happened, which, which yes. a lot of people thought was a closure, didn't realise that once the relocation happened to Gladstone Park, would it still service the Moreland sure, area? Sure, sure. Um, I mean, the background to that amalgamation was, I guess, a view of government that uh, there needed to be uh, more of a focus on, on servicing the most disadvantaged. And so the, the Moreland Community Legal Centre was, was um, massaged into the amalgamation. Um, and when that occurred, there was certainly... Um, I was conscious of the need to ensure that we were properly um, providing access, not just to the disadvantage. That is our, our priority. So our priorities are victims of family violence, newly arrived, young people, um, people with mental health issues and older people suffering abuse. And all those people reside in, in Moreland. Um, the quick answer is we outreach to uh, Mary Health in Coburg on mm. a weekly basis, uh, to uh, Brunswick, a youth um, outreach. Um, mm. We weekly have uh, uh, clinics, uh, uh, is it tonight, tomorrow night, in Coburg. Um, we run now an, uh, a clinic. Uh, Clinic for Family Violence Victims in Glenroy, and we will be opening another one in Faulkner. So we really um, prioritise those sort of spaces. And as I said, I think in my submission, that the northern part, but we are not ignoring that the the issues in in uh, south part. South part. Yep. No, thank you very much, Jenny. Thanks for the answer and thank you for your submission. Um, we're just hearing submissions tonight. We're not making any decisions tonight. Certainly. That will be made on the um, council meeting coming up. Uh, um, thank you so much. Now, are there any other people who have made a written submission that are, that are in attendance now? Okay. Uh, thank you for taking the time to attend tonight's meeting and expand on your written submissions. Uh, councillors, before we consider the report before us, do I have a remo uh, mover to remo uh, resume standing orders, please? <coughs> yeah. Moved by Councillor Riley, seconded by Councillor Martin. Could I put that to the vote? All those in favour? Sorry, against? Carried. All right, so um, now, councillors, we have an officer recommendation uh, before us on page three and four of tonight's agenda. Do I have a mover for the officer recommendation? Moved by Councillor and Olivia Carly Hannon, seconded by Councillor Abu. Would the mover or seconder like to speak to that? Um, yeah, I would briefly actually. Um, we were having a chat about these submissions before um, we came into this room and we just really uh, want to put express our appreciation to the fact that people do make submissions to our budget because um, hearing from people about what's important is really the best thing that we can do here. So thank you all for making the time to come. And to the people who haven't come but have made submissions, thank you as well. Thank you, Councillor. Any other speakers? Okay. Yes. Someone's running a little bit too late to do a submission, possibly, uh, I think. Bye. Yeah. Okay. All right, okay, um, okay. Um, we'll put that uh, officer recommendation to the vote. All those in favour? Against, declare that carried. 
All right, so I remind everyone that Council will consider what we've heard in both the verbal and the written submissions before our June 25th, 2018 Council meeting. At that meeting, we intend to consider adopting the 2018-19 annual budget and the strategic resource plan of 2018 to 2023 and the rating strategy. As always, that meeting will be open to the public and the community is welcome to attend or view by the live streaming. Councillors, I'd like to declare the meeting closed. Thank you all who have attended and to the viewers at home tonight, good evening. Now, councillors, we'll have a bit of time now.